So we're going back out into this field, um, found a lot of relics here. It, there was just intense fighting here. Um, as you've seen, if you've watched some other videos, is uh, there are just so many relics here. You go 20 feet and you're on to a new target. I truly believe this is virgin ground. This area has not been detected before. Um, it, it's just so unique because this area was a site of intense fighting and then also a little bit of downtime after the fighting was over. So uh, the potential of fight, well, we know we're finding things uh, reflective of a, a fierce battle, uh, but then also on the lookout for things that uh, could reflect the downtime that, that I know occurred here uh, after the fighting. So here we go, let's see what we can find. It's a pretty solid 18. Normally you don't like digging 18s. They're usually aluminum. But I'll give it a shot. I'm still close to where the lumber company guys were coming in and out. And this is the one spot of this entire area that I found aluminum. But what the heck, we're going to dig. We're going to dig this 18 and we're going to see. I think that's going to be aluminum. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So I think I've got this, this area figured out. The only trash, modern trash, is right in this area where the where the equipment came in and out. Everywhere else back in what was a thick forest, that's where that's where I've been finding all the relics. So that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, keep going. Alright, kinda got a weird hole going on. Dug here. Had to move some logs. Now I'm just taking a big chunk out of the side or the back of this hole. I'm getting like a 50s, then 30s, and then this section right here was ringing up 80s. So I don't know, and I just think that it's yeah. See, so I got something there. Is it one thing? Wondered, is it one of those targets that just is will clear up once you get the dirt off of it? Okay, I think I got it out. I just don't know. Is that the is that the only thing in here? That is, that's a bullet. Cool. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna re-swing this hole before I walk away from it because it almost sounded like there was more than one thing in there. But let's see. Again, I gotta be careful with the relics coming out of the dirt here. This specific area, because this See how rich and black this soil is? It's so acidic that, uh, you know, really, I've never seen it, these, these lead bullets. It just eats them up. Normally, if I go home and I clean bullets, i got to scrub them, put soap on them, and scrub them, and try to get that brown crust off of them to get down to the white oxidation. But out here, it's just... There are, you're just at the white oxidation and you got to be careful because it'll just rub right off with your with my brush here and when I go home all I do I don't put soap or anything I just wash them under the sink with my thumb gets everything off and then at that I have to be careful otherwise it'll take the white oxidation right off and you'll just be looking at gray lead 
Okay, no idea of what kind of bullet, obviously. It hit something. But I will take it. Kind of a weird signal. But uh, glad I dug it. Now we'll, we'll move on to another one. But like I said before I go, I'll swing this hole and make sure there's not something else in it. But on to the next. All right, so this log right here. This is old. Uh, this is probably... Uh, Civil War period, but I scanned it with my detector. I didn't get anything uh, Trying to see if there's bullets or something in it, but I'm gonna try to roll it over See what I can get Hopefully not snakes, but Nothing. Yeah, nothing. So I am actually going to roll the log back where it was. Mm. All right. Keep going. All right, here's a big old, uh, probably a pine tree that was cut down and right, like right at its base. Interesting. Interesting. There's another one right there. All right. So there's a. There's one that's deep, right? That would be right there. And then there's another one right there. All right, let's get in and dig it up. Got it out. Got it out. It's in my hand. It's a bullet. That's a bullet. Feels a bit bigger. Actually, it's looking about the size of a mini ball. I don't know, it could be a mini ball. It almost feels, it almost feels and looks a bit smaller than a three ring mini ball, but we'll see. I found a couple other bullets right in this area too that um, I need to dig a little deeper to identify what they are because they're, they're about this size, but they have no rings on them. So, I don't know, I gotta figure that out. All right, so this is a, a big tree stump. Tree was just cut down, and this is one of the big uh, roots coming off the tree. Really faint signal. I already kicked a bunch of a bunch of branches and stuff out of the way, so and it made the signal a lot louder and clearer. So that's gonna see what this is so we can move a little bit more see what it does for yeah that's yep that's a good signal right there Got it in my hand. Yep, got it in my hand. Bullet. Bullet 
just fell. That. That made impact. Let's see, be gentle with it. Yep, that's a three ring mini ball. Nice. Clean it up more when I get home. But yeah, I'll take it. Really quiet signal once again. But uh, man, they're definitely out here. And if there's bullets, there's got to be buttons and buckles and whatever else. It would be awesome to find a coin, but I, I doubt that. But lots of fighting, lots of bullets in here. And uh, we'll just keep going, see what's out here. All right, this is a really... I mean, it's there. It's it's deep. It's faint. I think it'll be something good. The numbers are varying from the 40s, and you turn one direction, and it kind of gives you a blip of the 80s. But man, I can tell it's under roots. I feel something on the pinpointer. So that's good. It'll give me a direction to direction to dig. Let me get some of this crap out of here. That's either a root or a bullet I see flashing at me down there. I see a flash of white down there in the hole in the sidewall. That's a bullet. That's what that was. That's a bullet. Hold on. Set that. Okay. That's the only thing in there. So let's. Take a look and see what we got. Well, already I can tell it's smaller than a three ringer. I gotta get these identified. This is, I found several of these out here. And I don't exactly know what they are. I know there's people that could identify them really easy, but I just need to post it online or something. But see right there, you can tell. I have to clean it up at home, but it's got, I think it's got two rings. Two rings, but it's definitely smaller than a three ring mini ball. We'll have to clean it up at home and yeah I gotta post it because I've I found numerous bullets right here in this area that uh, that are this type and yeah you can see it's got two rings so all right keep looking now these bullets that I keep finding that I'm saying they're not a, a normal three ring mini ball they feel smaller uh, now I've I've weighed them, I've measured them the best I can, and what they are is they're a 55, sorry, 54 caliber bullet. Um, I don't exactly know. I'm looking up in in the projectile book that identifies bullets, and I can't specifically say which one it is, but but it, they are 54 caliber, which is smaller. Um, here's the problem though is because of the soil that I'm detecting in, I've not really seen this before. This, this soil is just black. It is so acidic. Um, these bullets are just eaten up. So when, when I'm getting these bullets, I don't have to scrub them at all. I am just literally rinsing them off with water at home and maybe uh, rubbing them a little bit with my thumb. 
And that's all you can do because the, the soil is just eaten away the lead to the point where a lot of them, it, it just, it'll mess up the, uh, the measurements with a caliper that you try to take. And, and some are just chewed up to where you really can't make an identification. But at least I know that, like I say, these aren't just your, your standard uh, three ring mini ball. These are a 54 caliber and they are just a tad bit smaller. This is an old tree trunk right here. Walking past it, I mean, you're getting swing noise, just hitting all the, you know, hitting all the branches and stuff like that. So, but I walk past this, see that? This is, this is not even anything. You don't see anything on my screen. It's just like a, in the background, not even really anything. But I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna explore this. See, there's something down there. I removed it. I just got a little bit of the dirt away. That's that's deep, whatever it is, but that's kind of cool. Like that's. Nine out of ten times, you'd walk right past that. Like it was just literally, it was not even a, not even a sound. It's straight in there. I know it's right there. something out. There's a bullet. All right. So that was interesting. Man, you got to be on your game out here. You just don't even, <laughs> didn't even hear that. But man, it's just at the base of these trees. Kind of curious what type of bullet this is. It's not, I've found a lot of them. Clean it up at home and see if it's got any rings, but it's definitely not a three ring mini ball. It is just much smaller. It impacted kind of sideways. That looks like it went into dirt, just how uniform and smooth the the front of it is. But anyhow, that's cool. And uh, let's go find a buckle or a button. I know my buckle's waiting out here somewhere for me. I'll find it one day, hopefully. All right, let's keep going. Super faint signal, like a 44. Um, let's check it out. Super faint, but yeah, I feel something down there. I mean, I'm close to the trunk of this tree. But not like, I mean, I'm feet away from it, so it's not like the other ones where you're digging under their roots. This one's kind of in the middle, away from it. I think I got it out. Yep. Yep, got it out. That's pretty. You can see the rings. This is a put my 
glasses on. I think this is a three ringer. Yeah, it's more than likely dropped. The only damage to it is down here at the base is a little squeezed in, but yeah, that's a three ringer. And I would say it's dropped. There's no damage to the to the cone or anything. So very nice. That's what we're getting for uh, finding these super faint signals. And that's what I'm gonna keep doing. It's just hard because you're you're digging over. You can see the terrain. You're swinging. There's branches. There's logs. You're stepping over them. You're tripping over them. You you know that's just the way it is. And uh, so you're dealing with the swing noise, you know, of your coil hitting all these branches and things sticking up. So you've, you've got to get used to that constant noise. But you also have to be real sensitive to your machine so you can tell that, hey, that's not swing noise. That's actually a target. So there's a lot more out here. So on to the next. I also want to say that in this area that I'm metal detecting because of how I described it, both fierce fighting and uh, downtime in the same area. It's crazy the things that I'm finding that, that could potentially reflect both of those. Um, so just wait and see. So I can feel this, feel this one right away. Uh, I think we're going to luck out on this. I think we're not going to have to be digging under roots. Got it. You got to be kidding me. Look at that. That's one hole. Two bullets just popped out of one hole. And I think they're dropped. Holy crap. That's a big bullet. Both of them are big bullets. Yeah, those are big. Ooh, look at that. I'm thinking that this is a Pritchett. an infield but what the heck all right off the top of my head what this looks like is a Pritchett bullet it looks like it was screwed it was removed like it got stuck in the barrel and they had to go down and screw into it with something as a screw literally at the end of their ramrod down the barrel screws into the bullet and then you have to extract it um, that's what this looks like now the other one this is a totally different bullet This one has rings. I'm trying to be careful because they kind of disintegrate quick. This too, I think. Yeah, this made impact. You know what? For all we know, this could have literally made impact with the soldier that was busy trying to get his barrel unstuck with a bullet jammed down the barrel. I mean, they're, they're in the same hole. They literally, whatever the circumstances, both of these dropped into the same hole. And they're two different bullets. This is much wider. The diameter is much bigger on this one that, that made contact than this Pritchett bullet. But uh, I'm going to clean it up more at home just under the sink because I don't want to mess things up. I want to find out what kind of bullet this is. If it's a two if it's got two rings, there's a good chance and it's a bigger bullet that it could be a Confederate Gardner bullet. 
but I'll clean it up at home. We'll try to figure it out. But see, this is why I like this is why I like digging bullets, relics. Period. But bullets, to me, they can they can kind of tell a story. Um, I found the other day. I found two bullets in the same hole that both of them had been uh, had to be extracted. Both of them had the exact same screw hole in the top and they were at the base of a tree just like this so you could tell a soldier was uh panicking and and was getting his bullets just stuck in his barrel so you had to extract them but this is interesting two different types very different types of bullets this one was screwed out extracted from the barrel and this one made contact both in the same hole hey when i found these two bullets in the same hole as I said on the video, I thought that one was just a real chunky, probably Confederate bullet. And then the other one I thought was an infield or a Pritchett bullet. Now a Pritchett bullet is, or an infield, it's got no rings on it. It's, it looks, it's longer and it's thinner. Uh, and that's what I thought this was. As soon as I got home and ran some water over it, uh, instantly I realized this is, this is not an infield. Um, what this is, I hope the pictures can do it justice, but this is a bullet that a soldier has hammered flat and rolled up like a rug. I mean, this thing is, is hammered so flat, and I'm sure it took time for him to roll it up real tight, um, just like rolling up a rug, literally. And uh, it's, it's just amazing to me. Now... I have found uh, hammered bullets. I found one that was used, they, they used to make them into chess pieces, um, checkers, poker chips, all kinds of things. And they really reflect kind of camp life during the Civil War. Now, this particular area that I'm in is interesting because there was extreme fierce fighting uh, at a period of time after that fighting was over, this area was, uh, was kind of occupied by the Union for a period of time, and uh, there would have been nothing going on. So to find something like this, this is such a personal connection with that one soldier, uh, just kind of a snapshot in time of boredom back at camp, and the things that they would find to occupy their minds. This is just amazing to me. Um, if you were lucky enough to find like a poker chip chess piece or, or just a carved bullet, it's a really rare find. And to me, like I say, it's just kind of a connection, a personal connection to that soldier that is just fascinating to me. Mm -hmm.